Hi, this is Dr. Akiba Green with Lake Norman Health and Wellness. I've got a special report for you. It's a GMO special report. It's the effects of brominated vegetable oil on our health. BVO is in a lot of products. So you're going to learn a lot about this. All right. In 1997, a man presented to the emergency room with headaches, fatigue, and a loss of muscle coordination and memory. He continued to get worse over time. Eventually, he lost the ability to walk. A blood test find sc found sky-high levels of bromide. The source? He'd been drinking between two and four liters of soda containing brominated vegetable oil every day. He actually needed dialysis, but eventually did recover. In 2003, doctors treated a man who developed swollen hands with oozing sores. They diagnosed a rare case of the skin condition, bromoderma, after blood tests revealed his bromine was about twice normal limits. The man admitted drinking about eight liters of ruby red squirt, which contains BVO each day. PepsiCo recently announced it would remove brominated vegetable oil from its Gatorade drinks in response to customer concerns. Just what is BVO? What is it doing in your sports drink? Well, brominated vegetable oil is a synthetic chemical that's created when vegetable oil is bonded to the element bromine. Bromine is heavy and it keeps the oil from floating to the top of water-based solutions like soft drinks. Citrus flavors, orange, lemon, lime, and grapefruit are very oily. When they're added into a soda or beverage like Gatorade or Mountain Dew, they tend to sit on top of the drink. They didn't mix all the way through. They don't do mix very well. So BVO acts as an emulsifier, meaning it helps the citrus flavors mix better in the soft drink. Drinks that contain BVO usually look hazy or cloudy. Mountain Dew, Fresca, Fanta, even sports drinks like Gatorade have had BVO added to them for years. And believe it or not, many drinks containing BVO do not include it on their labels. The problem is that BVO is actually banned worldwide in over 100 countries. And even the FDA has considered it unsafe since the 1970s, yet does nothing to ban its usage here in our country helps to look back at the history of BVO in our regulatory system. In 1958, the FDA said BVO was generally safe to use. This rule was made when it was generally used in very low amounts in the body, about eight parts per million. When this rule was made, sodas were considered a treat and not part of the daily diet. In the 70s, the FDA gave BVO interim status. Interim status means beverage manufacturers can use it in limited quantities, pending the outcome of further studies. The FDA understood there were health risks associated with BVO, and made the change. The rule they used were very important, and the safety of America's health was paramount to the FDA in the 1970s. The problem is those studies were never done, leaving the ingredient in limbo for more than 30 years. Today, the way consumers drink sodas is very different from the 1950s. Since the FDA is driven as much, or if not more, by special interest groups, they're very hesitant to make any changes that'll force companies to remove something they've, they've said was safe for 60 years but the rest of the world feels differently. Like I said, 100 countries have banned BVO. Japan, India, the entire European Union. So how bad is it for us? Brominated vegetable oil has its, in it a composition of the element of bromine, which believe it or not, the vapors of bromine are considered both corrosive and toxic. In other words, it can outrightly be considered a poisonous chemical. Now the chemical bromine is used for a number of products. And one of the chemicals that treat surfaces for light sensitive photographic printing papers as an additive for gasoline to agricultural fumigants. At one time, bromine was even used to make sedatives. But then the FDA banned its usage around 1975 as it was found to trigger a whole host of psychiatric disorders. The FDA claims that BVO in acceptable levels would do no harm. However, it has been proven that BVO, when consumed, is stored in a person's fat cells, thus over time can accumulate. With time, if the average person consumes enough of these beverages that contain BVO, its toxic side effects have started to show up. What are the side effects? You really want to know? I do a lot of work with autoimmune thyroid management in my office. Probably 50% of my patient population is hypothyroid or Hashimoto's. The website, Natural Thyroid Choices, listed the following symptoms associated with Mountain Dew and BVO. Abdominal cramps, anxiety, anorexia, blurred vision, coma, constricted pupils, convulsions, cyanosis or skin blueness, diarrhea, dizziness, heartbeat malfunction, headache, weakness, tremors, muscular cramps, nausea, respiratory difficulty, salivation problems, slow pulse, sweating, tearing, vomiting. Also birth defects, growth problems, memory loss and fatigue have been shown. And yet adults and children both consume these product or beverages on a daily basis with no thought at all about the consequences. The Wonder Drink Gatorade is used so much after sports activities, people just think it's to rehydrate and replenish one's body. What are they getting is a dose of a toxic chemical. My goal with these videos is to put pressure on the FDA to start doing their job. 
and to help teach you as the individual to look at what you're eating and what you're drinking. I'm hopeful we'll see the complete ban of BVO and beverages in our country, just like a hundred other countries have done for years. You would think that the FDA would agree our health is worth it. If you're interested in learning more about GM foods, the health risks associated with them, and how my office can help you with your chronic health problems, I encourage you to call and schedule either an in-office consultation with me, Dr. Green, or a distance medicine consult with me. My office number is 704-987-3993. Our website is dracreen.com. That's D-R-A-K-I-V-A-G-R-E-E-N.com. Thank you very much.